Hi, welcome to Home Tech Adventure. We help you use and maintain computers and related equipment in your home. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a Mac OS Catalina install USB. And along the way, I'll show you a few tips and tricks that you might not know. First, before we start, you do need to have a USB stick that's at least 16 gigabytes in size. Mac OS takes up quite a bit of space. 16 gigabytes is the smallest one that you want to use for this process. Also, you want to make sure that it is formatted with Mac OS uh, HFS. And we're going to do that in just a minute. And really, it, it should be able to be used with other things, but sometimes USB drives get a little bit uh, odd with their formatting and Mac OS can't read them and can't install stuff on them. So we wanna make sure we format it to HFS plus and therefore we know it will work with the Mac operating system. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Let's get into the computer. To make a Mac OS install USB, it needs to be at least 16 gigabytes in size. This one is 16 gigabytes. You can use anything larger, but let's put this in the computer and see if we can initialize it. We wanna make sure that we can actually initialize the disk or format it because then we assure that it will work with Mac OS and the create, create install media uh, system that we're going to use. So let me put that in there. There, now that it's in, you can see that it showed up on the desktop and this is my uh, security software for viruses and just I don't want it to scan it. Um, so we got our disk there. Now to format it, by the way, if it doesn't show up on the desktop and you want to see it, um, what you can do is go and choose computer and it will show you the untitled disk there. We're going to need that up anyway, so we'll just leave it up there. Um, let's go into disk utility and I found the easiest way is just click the spotlight and type in disk utility. Um, that's by far the easiest way and then just hit enter and it opens disk utility. Now here's our disk. Hmm, okay, so our disk is not formatted and you can see it's uh, something different than what we want. So let's just erase it. And instead of MS, MS DOS, we wanna do mass, Mac OS Extended Journal. That'll assure that we can use it with the Mac uh, creation software for the installer. So let's just give it a real creative name, blank USB. Okay, there we go and click erase and see what happens, and it's failed. Now you might happen to have this. There are a couple of ways you can do within Disk Utility to mess around, but if you're having a lot of trouble, let's close Disk Utility, and you notice it totally disappeared here. We're gonna go into the terminal and do it correctly and just totally obliterate everything on the disk and then start over and reformat it. Um, so anyway, let's get into the terminal. Now, terminal again, you can just type in term and terminal will come up. Or you can go, I got it on the dock down there. You can go utilities and it's in the utilities folder down at the bottom here. There's the terminal. Um, but uh, let's see, let's go back to computer because we, ah, we'll do that later. Okay, we'll just leave that there. Let's open the terminal. And you notice that I got a list up here. Now I did this purposely because, um, oh, command and plus will make this bigger by the way, so that you can see it a little better. That's good, now you can see a little bit better what we're doing. Um, I got this note here. It says the default interactive shell is now ZSH. And that's the Z shell, and that is a legitimate uh, notice from Apple. Apple changed with Mac OS Catalina from using the Bash shell to using the Z shell. And you can tell I have the Bash shell because it's a dollar sign here. We're gonna switch it to the Z shell with this command. And Apple gives us this command. Now, they also have a support page that's set up just for this. If you wanna read that, I have it linked in the description. You can read that support page if you want. Um, but all I'm gonna do is just pick, pick uh, Command and C to copy. And then I'm gonna Command and V to paste. And then just hit Enter, put in my password. Hit Enter again and now it's changed. Now let's quit terminal because we have to quit to reactivate the other shell. So let's start the other shell. Okay, there we go. And we'll go command and click plus a couple of times. Okay, so there we go. Now we're in the Z shell. You can tell by the percent sign that means we're in the Z shell. Now you notice this is uh, green on black. That's just because I like green on black. Um, you can do other things if you choose preferences here and go into the profiles 
Yours probably looks like this. Um, you can choose, you know, you can choose that, you can choose that, you can choose whatever color you want um, for these shells. And I set the home brew, which is what I like as the default. So that's why we're on the, the home brew. So let me get rid of these extra windows because um, this is the, the version I like. That's the coloring I like on mine. You can color your shell whatever you want. Okay, so what are we gonna do in the, the shell? Well, we have that USB that's a problem. So let's go disk util, oops, list. And that'll give me a list of all the disks. And here's the, um, here's the disk that we are having problems with. F disk partition scheme, Apple HFS. Boy, I don't know what was on this in the past, but anyway, it's all messed up. Um, so we're going to just totally obliterate this disk. This is the right one. It's 15.9 gigabytes. Like I said, it's a 16 gigabyte flash drive. So we make sure we got the right disk. Because if you do this with the wrong disk, you could really lose some data. So let's do it with the correct disk. So we're going to go disk util, erase disk, free, which means it's going to create just free space on the whole thing with nothing else. Just free space. And we're gonna give it a name. And this one, I think you might need all caps, so we're gonna do all caps. We'll still call it blank USB, but it'll be all caps. And then we gotta choose the path. And if you notice, it's disk three, but the full path here is what we want. Dev disk three, we wanna make sure there is no mistaking which disk that we're talking about so that we make sure that we format the correct disk. So dev disk three. So it's gonna erase the disk with and make it just free space uh, give it the name blank USB on dev disk three. And if we hit enter and it will just obliterate everything on the disk and it's finished. Now let's go disk util list again and see what we got. Now it's formatted. Okay. Uh, well, it's not format. It's just uh, a guide partition scheme. This is what we want. Um, so let's type in um, clear because we're going to use this for creating our uh, install media and we just want to clear screen so you can see it a little bit better. Let's go back into disk utility. There we go, came up with disk utility. Um, so if we go back into disk utility, now you can see it just says media and it's a guide partition map. We should be able to erase it without a problem. Let's just call it blank USB like we tried to do before. Mac OS extended journaled and click erase and wait a little bit and it should Hopefully, yeah, it did it correctly. Okay, yeah, no action. My security software coming up again. All right, so there we go. Now we have a blank USB, and that's what we want to put the install media on. Now, to get the install media, we have to go in. Um, let's hide this terminal for now so that we have a clearer screen. Um, let's go into the uh, App Store. And you want Mac OS Catalina, so just type in Mac OS Catalina. And there we go. This is the one that we want, Mac OS Catalina. They call it a utility in the Mac App Store. And all we have to do is click View, and then you can click Get. And that will get it. It actually opens through Software Update, and it says, are you sure you want to download this? And I'm going to click Download and it will download it into your applications folder. Now I have a very fast internet connection, so, so this shouldn't take a long time, but if you have a slow internet connection, you, uh, mine's 400 megabits per second, so it's pretty darn quick. Um, if you have a slower internet connection, you might wanna leave at this point and come back a little bit later. Now, one thing about this, do not try to download this from any other source other than what I've shown you right here. The reason is, this is the legitimate Apple way to do this. Apple verifies that this is a legitimate version of Mac OS with all the security protocols intact and no viruses or any other shenanigans put on there. Do not try to download it. You really risk if you download it from any other source than this source right here. Do not do that. Download it from the official Apple website through the Mac App Store and the software update the way I am doing here because then you're sure that you have an absolute legitimate copy of this. So don't download from any other source. We're almost to the end. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel if you would, that would really help me out. Put some comments down below and of course, share this video with others because hopefully they can learn too. I really do try to provide the best and most complete instructions on the internet. 
almost done. Installing update. Now it's going to come up with the Mac OS update. Now why would you need to do this? We forgot to talk about that. Um, you might do it if you have a slow internet connection. If you have even two or three computers and you have a slower internet connection, updating all three of them, oh my gosh, I take forever. You could download, make an installer on one of the computers, the fastest computer that you have, and then go around and update all the other computers in your home. That's what system administrators do when they have a bunch of Macs in a Mac lab. They don't try to update all the Macs at the same time. They just update one and put it on a disk um, and do it the way, you know, from the installer uh, USB. So anyway, there are reasons why you would download and install this. Okay, so I got the Mac OS Catalina and this comes up. I'm going to choose quit because we don't want that install. We don't want to install it right now. It's actually already installed. We're running on Mac OS Catalina. So we're done with software update and we're done with the Mac App Store. All right, now that we're in, it got everything closed out, we need a few things. First of all, we need a finder window. So go new finder window. Notice it's command N. I'm going to use command N for the future on this. Click applications and the one that we downloaded is called install Mac OS Catalina and it's right here. So we're going to need that, um, or we might need that, I'll explain in a minute. Um, Command N, let's get another one up, and go into, uh, let's go to computer this time, because this is the second one we're going to need. Go computer, because we want to install it on this blank USB that we created. Uh, so, and then let's open another window, and I'm going to stack these so we can kind of keep track of them. Um, this time we're going to go into applications. And this time we're going to get the command. Mac uh, actually provides a command for you. So all you have to do is right click or control click if you have a single button mouse or double finger click with a touch mouse. And you get up this menu and you show package contents. Click contents and click resources. By the way, I am using the column view because I prefer the column view. You can do it in this view or this view if you like. But I find it just easier to do all of this stuff with the column view, I think that's one of the best things that the Mac OS does. Anyway, we're looking for this create install media. It's actually a terminal command. So let's get the terminal back up here. And let's make it a little bit bigger, command and plus, make it bigger so you guys can see it a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so we'll make that a little longer too. And it does have to be done as a super user. So super user do sudo. And then you just drag this command over there hit space and close this out because we don't need that. Now you have to tell it which volume to use. So you go dash dash volume, just like that, space, and then you drag your USB that you want to use there and hit space and that's all good. Now that's all done, okay? so. That's all you need with Mac OS Catalina. They've shortcut it a little bit. It assumes that the Mac OS install Mac OS Catalina is in the applications folder and it finds it and it does it. Um, if you're doing it in an older operating system or something like that, because some of the older Mac operating systems wouldn't do this automatically, or if you have more than one copy or something like that, you can add this dash dash. Um, application path space and then drag your install Mac OS Catalina there to get the application path click space and that will make sure that you got the right application there and that method is necessary if you're doing it on Sierra or High Sierra I can't remember when they switched over to doing it automatically um, and then there's one more thing that you can do here if you want and I'm going to do it no interaction when you type no interaction like that, let's make this so that it doesn't cut it off in the wrong spot. Uh, dash dash no interaction. It doesn't ask if you want to erase everything on your blank USB that you created. You can just double check the volumes blank USB. If it says the right thing here, you got the right thing. It's going to erase it anyways. So we should be good to go. I just hit enter and put in my password. Hit enter again and it's deprecated, 10.4, please remove from your invocation. Um, it's saying that the application path isn't necessary, but it's doing it anyways. Um, so it tells me that I don't need that, but it's doing it anyways. And this is going to take a while. 
So we will come back when it's done. All right, we're almost finished here. Copying boot files shouldn't take all that long. Um, so let's wait until that finishes. It should come up with the percent symbol again um, with my Home Tech Adventure uh, account. And there we go. Install Media is now available. So it's all set, ready to go. And my security system is going overactive again. Let's quit the terminal. We're all done with that. And here we got it, install Mac OS Catalina. So there is our drive. I'm going to eject that. And now I have an install drive. It will work on any Macintosh. Just hold down the option key when you start up and then select it. By the way, if you have trouble selecting the USB or booting from a USB, um, there is a fix for that. I will put a link in the description to the Apple support page to help you boot from the USB if just holding down the option key doesn't allow you to select the install Mac OS Catalina USB drive. Watch some of the other videos that I have on this channel and remember to subscribe. I hope you enjoy this home tech adventure and as always, have fun on your own home tech adventure.